Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to talk about creating a Power BI report, a small Power BI report, just to give you an idea of a part of the report view of Power BI desktop. This is basically the report view of Power BI desktop. And here you can see the canvas or the report design area. So let's create some visualizations uh, to understand that how it works in Power BI desktop. So I will expand the data pane and here you can see we have a data set or basically we have a table by the name COVID-19 data set and these are the following columns that it has. Fine. So let's say first of all, I want to represent the country or the region in uh, in a map. So I will first of all expand this visualizations pane and then I'll click here on map visual. Let's drag it here. Let's keep it somewhere here. And now you can resize it. Let's increase its size. And now after clicking on this blank map, you can just simply click here on country or region. So here you can see that these small bubbles are basically representing various countries or regions. Now let's say I want to represent a date in a slicer. Fine. So a slicer or you may call it a visual filter. So what I'll do, I'll simply click. First of all, I'll click anywhere here on the blank area and then I will click here on this slicer. Let's keep it here. Let's change its size so you can change the size as well. Let's keep it here. And then after selecting this blank slicer, just simply click here on date. So here it shows various dates and we can basically filter the data on this entire page using this date. Now let's say I want to add a border to this particular visual, basically both the visuals. So I'll first of all select the first visual and I'll click here or on format your visual, general, effects and border. Click here on this visual, format painter and then click on this visual. Fine. So both of them are basically having borders now. And let's say I want to represent this WHO region also in visual filter. So what we can do is we can first of all simply click here anywhere on the blank area. Then we will click here on this slicer. I'll drag and drop it here. Fine. Simply click here on this blank slicer and then click here on WHO region. So this shows you various regions of WHO. Now let's say I want to represent, since I want to add a border to this WHO region filter, so I'll simply click here on this filter after clicking on your uh, format painter option. Now I will click anywhere on this blank space. Now let's say I want to represent total number of the active cases total number of the confirmed cases, total number of the deaths and total number of the recovered patients. So what I'll do, I'll make use of bar charts and column charts to achieve this. So first of all, I'll click here on this blank area. Then I'll click here on this stack bar chart. And let's say I want to represent on this bar chart, I want to represent the active cases. So I'll simply click here on active. Let's say I want to change the name so I can double click here and I can rename it as active cases. So now the heading is changed. I'll again click here on this visual and let's say I want to turn this X axis to off and let's say I want to turn the title also to off. And let's change the data labels to on. So this shows the value, right? If you will select any region, so it will filter accordingly. And if you will select a particular range of date, so according to that also, it, the chart will get filtered. The number of the active cases will get filtered. Now, since I want this active cases, visual, sh visual showing active cases to have a border. So I'll first of all, click here on WHO region slicer. Then I'll click on format painter. Then I'll again click here on this visual. Now let's say I want to add one more bar chart to show the number of confirmed cases like we have shown number of active cases. So I will first of all click here on this active uh, cases visual 
control c control v i'll move it here and then i will remove this active cases from x axis and then i'll click here on this confirmed so this shows the number of the confirmed cases i will change the name so we can just simply write confirmed cases again i want to add let's say a column chart to represent a uh, number of recovered cases and number of deaths so i'll first i'll again click here on confirm cases control c control v i'll place it here and since i want to replace this bar chart by a column chart so first of all i'll click here on this bar chart and i'll click here on stacked column chart and now let's say in place of confirmed cases i want to represent number of deaths so i'll click on deaths so this shows number of the deaths now so you can in place of number of sum of deaths you can write number of deaths let's resize these visuals change the size of this visual let's place it here let's change the size of this visual as well fine now let's say i want to resize it then i can resize it okay and control c control v because now we will be representing number of the recovered cases on another visual resize it fine so i will now remove number of the deaths from here and i'll click here on recovered so this now shows number of recovered cases so in place of sum of recovered we can write number of recovered cases fine so now if you will select any particular date range all the values being represented or all the insights being shown on this page will get filtered accordingly if you will select any particular region from this who region slicer the values will get filtered accordingly if you will select let's say any particular region from here like this all the values will get filtered fine now let's say if we want to write uh, these values we want these values not to be in billion but let's say we want these values to be in thousands so what what we can do is we can simply select any any one of the visuals then format our visual data labels and then we can change the unit from this value section to thousands similarly for this visual also i want to change the display unit to thousands same should be the case with this visual as well and similarly for active cases as well now when you will select any particular area or region this will show you the count on these various visuals right let's say we want to remove this filter so we can simply remove it and then if you want to apply some other date filter or let's say you want to apply who region filter so you can apply that filter as well so it was a small report that we created and the aim of creating this report is to give you an idea of about a part of report view of power bi desktop so i hope it was helpful we'll meet in the next session till then thank you bye, -bye.